the Lord. Bless the Lord. You are welcome into this place. See to it that the mics are turned on, please. You are welcome into a shout of praise on my left. Can I hear my children praise the Lord? Do that one more time. Bless the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just 
Queen Mark, welcome and say you're coming back. You are welcome to this with childlike faith and Jesus joy that we the children of life tab warmly welcome you to this our first night of children crusade you may hear me and adults say children yes we are all children of the Lord amen we are so delighted that you took the time to join us in worship to the king of kings and the Lord of Lords praise God we are soaring in his design because he made us special in his design. And you too are special in his design. So let us together give him our best. The blessings will come down as the praises go up. Let us raise our praises higher and higher to him under the theme our children soaring in his design. So we are going to stand and we are going to be doing that last part. We are going to be raising our praises to the King of Kings tonight. Amen. Praise God. Let us give the Lord our awesome hallelujah praise. Hallelujah. Praise God. You may be seated. Bless the Lord. So at this time, our children are going to be doing the Junior Church theme song for us. Sister Francine. Stay right there, baby. Stay right there. Children, please stand. All our Junior Church children, you are on board this ship. Go ahead, Sister Francine. He picked up my smile. Welcome, 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 welcome to Junior Church. We welcome you. Come with your lawyers and give God glory. We welcome you. the Lord. So we are going to be standing and we are going to be singing that while Sister Trissel is coming to give us our first scripture. It's not hard. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Junior Church. Tonight we are having crusade. So you can say welcome to Junior Church crusade. We welcome you. All our saints, we welcome you. Oh, praise God. All right, so we are going to be doing, everyone is going to be singing the song together. And then five of our saints from my left side is going to welcome five of our saints on our right. Amen. 
in junior church style. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be asking two of the children to indicate to you how this is done. Praise God. So we are going to ask Sister Khadija and Sister Francine. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Junior Church. We welcome you. of Junior Church, I will hand over to our young children. I would like to welcome Francine to Junior Church, and I hope you enjoy your time here, and please remember that you're special by God's design. I would love to welcome Khadija Edward because she's the best person ever. Amen. <laughs> All right, so we now understand what we are going to do. Amen. Amen. I will go in the second row, and I will, Sister what you want to start for us? So you're going to welcome one of our juniors to Junior Church Crusade tonight. And... It is important that you tell them that they are special by God's design. Welcome, Sister Francine. Just Welcome already, rule. Auntie Dorit. Praise God. Thanks, Auntie Vita. So, someone who was already welcome cannot be welcome again. Amen. Thanks, Sister Dawson. Sister, what? Welcome, Lisa, to Children Crusade. Amen. We hope you have a wonderful time in the Lord and you are special by God's design. Thanks. Praise God. Thank you, Sister Watts. And I hope you enjoy Junior Church today. And you are special by God's design. I hope you enjoy the rest of the New Year's. And uh, enjoy yourself. <laughs> Praise God. So we have Sister Thorpe, we have Sister Morgan, um, we have Sister Mr. Sister Lorraine, Auntie Lorraine. Welcome, Auntie Lorraine, and I hope you have a great time at Junior Church today. Enjoy your time here. I hope you learned something new, and you are special by God's design. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Alicia. And, it's, and thank you for that warm welcome. And I appreciate it. Now, I welcome Brother Jaheer to Children's Crusade. And I hope you have a wonderful time in the presence of the Lord. And Jaheem, you are special by God's design. Um, thank you, Auntie Lorraine. I hope I um, return the same greeting to you, and I would uh, like to welcome Brother K. 
Campbell to Junior Church Crusade 2022. I hope God lays something on your heart before this service is over. I hope God bless, blesses you and you are special by his design. God. Praise. Thank you for that time. Brother. I want to welcome Sister Jacia Brissett to Junior Church. Crusade and Jesus, you are special by God's design. I hope tonight the Lord will open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing upon you. Amen. Thank you. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Brother Campbell. Praise God. Come on, Jesia, you can do it. Bless the Lord. I invite Auntie Vita to join the church, and I hope you learn something new. And you are special. And you are special by God's design. Amen. Thank you, Sister Jesia, for selecting me. I feel that warm welcome. Thank you for reminding me that I'm special in God's design. And may you also enjoy Junior Crusade. And I would like to now return the favor in the family by welcoming Brother Daniel to Children's Crusade. I hope he learns of something new tonight. Worship the Lord. And he is special by God's design. Praise God. Thank you, Auntie V. Thank you, Auntie V, for that warm welcome. I'd like to welcome Brother Mark to Junior Church Crusade. And I hope you know you're special by God's design. Praise God. Thank you, Brother Nathaniel. Daniel, for that warm welcome. And I would just like to welcome each and every one of you to tonight's Junior Crusade 2022. God. We are all made special by the design of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We will worship him today, tonight, in the power of his might. And the glory will come down in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. So that's in the true spirit of Junior Church. And you will hear the children saying, Auntie, and I at times will say, Auntie, because that's how we address each other in Junior Church, all right? The children say, Auntie, and we refer to them by their name because it's important that we address each other properly. Amen? So we are going to be singing the song one more time while Sister... Trisel comes to give us our first scripture. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come with your praises come with your praise and give God glory. Give God glory. All our changes, we welcome you. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Everybody, we read together Psalm 139, 1, 2, 3, and 14. Amen. O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me, thou knowest my down sitting and mine uprising, thou understandest my thoughts afar off, thou come. 
passes my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that thy soul know right well. Praise God. We will do verse 14 together again. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul know it right well. Praise God. Amen. At this time, you may be seated. And we are going into a special time of testimony from two of our special children. Praise God. Bless the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise God, everyone. All right. I'm sorry, maybe I need glasses. I'm going too fast. Children, I'm going to ask you to stand so you would have been aware of our theme song that has been taking us through Junior Church. Amen. So, you're going to turn your faces to the congregation. Turn. Everybody turn, please. And we're going to be singing the theme song. <laughs> It's 
God. God made me special. Can we get the chorus, please? I want all the adults to sing. He thought it all over. He got it just right. Amen. Come on, big children in the house of God. Amen. He thought it's all over. He made me just right. So we are affirming that tonight. Praise God. Praise God. Singers. He thought it all over. He made me just right. I make him happy. I am his delight. When I look in the mirror, I see his touch. And he loves me very much. Praise God. So tonight, you're going to take your right hand and you're going to put it over your heart. And you're going to say, I am special in God's design. I am special in God's design. Let us do that one more time. I am special in God's design. Amen. So at this time, two of our children are going to be testifying to us Amen. of the goodness of God. Praise God. We are going to ask Brother Daniel to come. Praise God. He thought it all over. He made me just right. I make him happy. I am his delight. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord one more time. God has been good Amen. in my life. Amen. He woke me up this morning. Amen. Put food on my table. Amen. So I can see a bright shining sun. God woke us all up this morning. I'm glad to be on the wake up list tomorrow. So, no, to, today, because I don't know if I'm going to wake up tomorrow, next week, next month. So you have to spend the time you get to be alive with family, friends, Because tomorrow you won't have the opportunity. You, don't, you wouldn't know if you get the opportunity to be alive tomorrow. To see your friends and family. So you have to, you have to give God thanks today. Just pray for me. Yes, ma'am. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings. Praise God. Our next testimony from Sister Trissel. Praise the Lord, everybody. 
I want to thank God for life today because we may have the same May 25th, but we will never have the same 2022. have to thank God now for seeing morning and night because we may never know if we can see it again. Lord, we don't know what the next day stories for us. Lord, so as we are here today, we need to we need to thank Lord for everything he has done for us. We don't have to be ungrateful because a lot of other kids don't have the same opportunity as us. As I said, we, don't, we might have the same May 25th, but we may not, never have the same 2022. We should store our opportunities safely as we don't know what the future has for us. Amen. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Praise God. We are standing to our feet and we are singing, I am a promise. And we are going to sing that knowing tonight that we are a promise. Take us back to Genesis. God created everything before he made man. Show you how special we are. He did all that so when we come, we could have the luxury of what he had already prepared for us. Aren't we special? Praise God. I am a promise. I am a promise. I am a possibility. I am a promise. With a capital P. I am a great big bundle of potentiality and I'm learning learning to hear God's voice and I'm trying trying to make the right choice I am a promise to be anything God want me to be I am a promise I am a possibility I am a promise promise I am a great big bundle of potentiality And I'm learning, learning to hear God's voice And I'm trying, trying to make the right choice I am a promise to be anything God want me to be You are a promise you are a possibility, you are a promise, promise with a capital P. You are a great big bundle of potentiality, oh yes. And you are learning, learning to hear God's voice. And you are trying, trying to make the right choice. You are a promise to be anything God wants you to be. are a promise to be anything anything that God wants you to be and we believe right so we are a promise you may be seated all right at this time we have a little activity we are having some activities with our children we are having activities with our adult folks too. All right? So we are going to see who is airing well and who can do the activity the best. All right? So children, you are going to clap once. Remember, we want to hear you. 
All right? So that was just a dry run. Adults, we want you to clap once. All right. So children, you are going to clap. We, we want to hear you. All right? So you're going to clap once. Adults, you're going to be clapping twice, children. Go ahead. Adults, all right. You are going to be clapping thrice, and thrice there means three times. Let's go, children. I'm not hearing you. All right, that's better. Adults, all right. We want to find out who is the winner here. All right, who is the winner here? Adults. Adults are the winner. Come children, we need to do it much better. So you're going to be clapping once, twice, thrice. All right, and we're going to do it a little faster this time. This is the last one. Okay, one, two, begin. Come on, I'm not hearing that. All right, that was a little slug. I'm struggling. Let, let me hear the adult side. All right. But I must say, children, I appreciate you. But I must say that the adults, they were stronger. All right? But to God be the glory. All right? Hear our children pray on national issues concerning them. A child prays about mental health of our children, crime, and violence. That is really a problem for us. Education or schooling. Better or improved relationship between children and parents. And here we are looking at parents who are the authority figure all right and making here they want to make the right choices and overall development so these are things that our children are going to be praying about and we pray that god will give them the right choice here we are presenting to you sister tricelle who is going to be praying for us at this time May you all stand, please. Lord, we come to you today. Lord, as many children are suffering silently, Lord, I ask for you to protect us under your blood. Lord, the pandemic has caused a lot of problems to us. Lord, most of us have the opportunity to go to school and have no problems at home. Lord, I pray. Lord, I pray you protect us. Under your blood, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise God. The scripture tells us, and it's, it resonates strongly with me tonight, that out of the mouth of babe and suckling, thou hast ordained strength. Amen. And we are seeing the strength from our children tonight. Children are an heritage of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is his reward. Praise God. Bless the Lord. So, we are going to go again with I am a promise. And you are going to put your right hand on your heart tonight. And you are going to sing, I am a promise, I am a possibility. And if there is any doubt in anybody's mind tonight that you are a promise, we want you to sing this song believing that you are special in God's design. I am a promise. I am a possibility. I am a promise. Promise with a capital P. I am a great big bundle of potentiality. Oh, yeah. I'm learning, learning to hear God's voice And I'm trying, trying to make the right choice I am a promise to be anything God wants me to be I am a promise, I am 
am a possibility, I am a promise, promise with a capital P. I am a great big bundle of potentiality, oh yeah. And I'm learning, learning to hear God's voice and I'm trying, trying to make the right choice. I am a promise to be anything God want me to be. Praise God. So we were admonished tonight to lift our praises high. So we are going to raise those praises before you take our seat while Sister Francine makes her way to the front. Praise God. So I want to hear the adults with a hallelujah while our children respond with a thank you, Jesus. Adults? Hallelujah. Children? Come on, my children, you can do better than that, more stronger than that. Amen. Going again. Adults. Praise God. You may be seated. So at this time, we are in our nugget corner. We know May is child's month. And this that we are putting forth is from our very own Sister Francine Greenwood. Praise God. Remember I told you, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings. I said it, but it came from the scripture. <laughs> Amen? Bless God. Over to you, Sister Francine. The three Hebrew bars. <gasps> Were thrown in the fire. Fire furnace, they could not bow to the king idol. When the king looked into the fire, he saw a fourth man in the fire. Was that was Jesus? When we are in the fire, Jesus is always there with us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Sister Francine. Awesome job. All right. So, I'm going to seek feedback from two of my adults tonight. We got our feedback from Junior Church. We want to hear our adults tonight. So, it's on the monitor. The three Hebrew boys were thrown in the fiery furnace because they would not bow to the king's idol. When the king looked in the fire, he saw a fourth man, and that was Jesus. When we are in the fire, Jesus. always there with us. Praise God. Amen. So I want feedback from my, I'm not going to choose anybody. Praise God. So this that you just heard and we just read together was written by Sister Francine Greenwood. She wrote it herself. No assistance from us aunties. Amen? No assistance from mommy either. Mommy is declaring herself. Bless God. So our children are on the move. Soaring in his design. Bless God. Feedback, please. You want to hear it again, Brother Kadna? All right. So, the three Hebrew boys were thrown in the fiery furnace. Oh, sister. Oh, I I'm so sorry. Sister Francine, you are. <laughs> Praise God. The three Hebrew boys were thrown in the fire with the furnace because they could not blow the king's idol. When the king looked into the fire, he saw a fourth man, and that was Jesus. When we are in the fire, Jesus is always there with us. Amen. 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 Praise God. Bless the Lord when we are thrown in the fire. 
Jesus is always there with us. So, feedback from our adults, please. You have heard it from our babe. Bless the Lord, everybody. My feedback is a form of encouragement to all you young kids. Children. Just understand. Just understand that your fire now would be like um, bullies at school or children telling you what you ought to do when you know it's wrong in the sight of God. Your protection is the word of God. Amen? So if you study the word of God and keep it in your heart, you know when you go to school and other kids are saying that, Sister Francine, why are you not doing this? Why are you not, not wearing your hair like this? Why are you so stopped up? You said, because I am special by God's design. When, them, when they are saying things, that's the fire they are chewing on you to forget about what you have learned in junior church. But just remember, God is with you always. Amen. I am special by God's design. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Brother Richards. Children, in the true junior church spirit, what are we supposed to say? Thank you, Brother Richards. After two, one, two. Amen. Our second feedback, please. We got one from a man. Can we get one from a sister, an auntie, a mother? Praise God. I'm going to ask Sister Shamila Campbell. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise God. God. Well, we all know the story of the three Hebrew boys, as um, Sister Francine had pointed out in, the, in her little um, nugget there. And um, I can just add to what Brother Richard said. You know, um, as children, you will be in situations where you have to um, make a decision. And the decision that you make, I mean, the decision that are the circumstances, circumstance that you're faced with is as if you're in a fiery furnace. But you have to always remember and understand that Jesus is always there with you. When everybody seems to be against you, when the decision that you make seemingly is not popular with everybody, just remember that Jesus is there with you. That's what I take from the nugget. Amen. Bless the Lord. Children, you have heard. So what we need you to do now is to apply what you have heard. Amen? So I'm going to ask all our children to stand at this time. While our praise team will be giving us, we are a chosen generation. While our ushers make their way to the front, praise God. We are a chosen generation. 
called for to show his excellence. All I required for life, God has given me. I know who I am. We are a chosen generation called for to show his excellence. All I required for life, God has given me. I know who God bless the Lord, Sister Ashley Brissett. You are close to a mic. Can you please bless the offering for us? Dear Heavenly Father, we've come one more night into your presence to worship your holy name, God, because you deserve all the glory and the honor and the praise. God, as we are here about to give our offerings, I, br I pray that you bless those who have to give and those who don't. God, multiply our pockets so that we can come again and give and give and give in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are a chosen generation while you follow the instructions of the usher. We are a chosen generation called for to show his excellence. All are required for life God has given me. I know who I am. We are a chosen generation all for to show is excellent. All I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What He says I am. Where He says I'm at. I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What He says I am. Where He says I'm at. I know who I am. I'm walking in power, I'm walking in miracles, I live a life of favor, cause I know who I am. I'm walking in power, I'm walking in miracles, I live a life of favor, cause I know who I am. I know who I am. Is there anyone here tonight who don't know who they are? None of us, right? Because we are reminded that we are special in God's design. So I want you to sing the song with our children and let us do it to the best. Remember, we are charged to raise our praises higher. Amen? So we are going to do that and we are going to give God our best at this moment.
you know who you are just lift your hands and worship God tonight Jesus you are awesome in this place while the praise team position themselves to sing what a beautiful name it is thank you Jesus you are awesome in this place almighty God Lord there is none like you Abba Father, we salute you tonight. You created us special in your design. You are God and there is none like you. Our children lift their praises to you tonight, Jesus. We lift our hallelujahs to you tonight, Jesus. And we thank you, Lord God, for choosing us. We thank you, King of kings and Lord of lords. We bless your holy name, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise team, bless God, praise God.
Father, just, just worship God. He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. The praise team is humming while Sister Watson makes her way. Praise Jesus, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, Almighty God. the Lord. Awesome worship saints of God. Just give God what he deserves tonight. While you worship God, sister what is going to be ministering the word to our souls tonight. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. What a beautiful name it is. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a beautiful name it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Awesome. Hallelujah, 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 thank you Jesus, hallelujah, 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 what a beautiful name it is, hallelujah, 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 thank you Jesus, hallelujah, thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just wave your hands in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Just wave your hands in the presence of the Lord. Come on, children. Just wave your hands in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't let this presence of the Lord pass you by. Hallelujah. Touch him for yourself. Hallelujah. Touch him for yourself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I greet you all in the precious name of Jesus Christ. I greet our pastor, first lady, sister Dawson. I greet you well, ministers. I greet you well in the name of Jesus. Children, boys and girls, I greet you well in the name of Jesus. Just clap your hands in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. I greet you well. I greet you well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. St. John 6. Verses 3 to 11. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, children and I, everybody is going to read verse 6 and verse 11. We're going to read verse 6 and verse together. All right? So, I'll read. And Jesus went up into a mountain, and there he sat with his disciples. And the Passover, a feast of the Jew, Jews was nigh. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes 
and saw a great company come unto him, he saith unto Philip, Whence shall we buy bread that these may eat together? And this he said, Prove him, for him himself knew what he would do. We could stop right here. We could stop right here. What a God. And this he said, Verse 7, Philip answered him, 200 penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may take a little. One of his disciples, Andrew Simon, Peter's brother, saith unto him, there is a lad here which had five barley loaves and two small fishes, but what are they among so many? And Jesus, and Jesus said, make the men sit down. <laughs> no, there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down in number about five thousand together and jesus took the loaves and when he had given thanks he distributed it to the disciples and the disciples to them that were set and likewise of the fishes as much as they would just stretch your hands towards me and just Shout, what a miracle, Jesus. Again. Thank you. You may be seated. No. I want you to listen. Jesus is a miracle worker. Do you believe that? Come, I need to hear the boys and girls. Do you believe that? Yes, Amen. All right, so you have to talk back to me, okay? Now I'm going to ask you a little question. Can you list at least three miracles that Jesus did? Open at least three. Open the eyes of the blind. Turn water into wine. Heal the lame man. Anybody else? Raise the dead. Very good. Good job. Very good. Heal the woman. Now we are looking at the little boy with his Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now we are looking at the little boy and his lunch. So he did so many more miracles. Somewhere behind these miracles, there's a mom who packed a simple lunch for her son. This mom, she packed the lunch, not even knowing what her hands, the gift from her kitchen, Hallelujah. and her faithful love for her son into one of this greatest miracle. That's right. Five loaves. Right. Two fishes. Five loaves. Two fishes. Let me see the hands of those who can eat one loaf. Who can eat two fish. Two fish. So, there and then we know. Parents are caregivers. 
And I am going to see this without any doubt that our parents are responsible to take care of their children. That's your responsible, responsibility, to take care of your children. God is on the other side and he's working miracles and he's making you know, sacrifice that each day he provide for you. And parents, there's a reward for taking care of your children. His mother had no idea when she was packing his lunch. Maybe it was her last. Hallelujah. Maybe the mother sent her son or probably should take him herself or she might send him with a relative, an aunt, an uncle, a cousin to go and listen to the word of God. Again, parents, do not stop sending your children to church. Do not stop sending them to hear the word of God. This is very important. It's and you are special. Children, you are special by God's design. And it is his design for you to grow up in this special relationship with him. I can, I can remember at age probably six, my mother would send us to church, all seven of us to church. She never went, but she sent us. And she will send us on Sabbath, which is Saturday. So you go with the lady across the street on Sabbath, which is Saturday. And on Sunday, now you go with the lady up the road. So we go to church two times for the week. Am I sad about it? Am I not happy? Yes, I am. I am still here. I am still here. And I'm happy that she sent me to... And may I testify, I got saved in a children's crusade at age 15, at a children's crusade. I didn't know anything about the Holy Ghost. I didn't know how to clap. I didn't know how to rock. I didn't know anything because I was in Adventist holding the Sabbath. But when I went to Wildman Street, I got the Holy Ghost. I spoke in tongues, and it is a good feeling. It is a good feeling. I went to Sabbath, I think it was, on, it was a Wednesday, and I went to Sabbath on the Saturday, and I went back to Wildman Street on the Sunday, and then I went to Sabbath, and then I went on the Sunday, but I was uncomfortable, because I want to wear a hat now. I want to get my hair straight back to, get got my hair back to natural, so I prayed and I said, God, I'm confused. Choose for me. And the Sabbath came and I stay home. And Sunday morning came, Wildman Street it was. Hallelujah. But also it's important as that little boy who was willing to give up his lunch, no doubt. The crowd was big because how many thousands it was? 5,000 men. It didn't count children. It didn't count women. So you know that was a whole lot more than 5,000. But Jesus could work a miracle with or without even if the boy didn't have his lunch, God was able to work that miracle. He's God. Hallelujah. Sometimes as children, God, Jesse, sometimes as children, God wants something to work with. If you go in an exam and you study nothing, you're going to come out with nothing. If you put zero, you're going to get zero. So you have to study 
you have to look over daily. Whatever starts during that day, you have to go home and look over. And God is going to help you because he sees that Jasia did study. And, if, and I learned, I think last week, it says from a zero to a hero and from a hero to a hundred. So you move from zero to a hero to a hundred. So if you, if you used to get 40, no, you're going to get a hundred percent. Why? Why are you going to get a hundred? Because you studied, you looked over. Do not get angry at others. Even though they may laugh at the boy when he walked up with his, his lunch, I can just imagine some students when you're at school and you're probably not wearing a Nike here and you're wearing probably a no-name shoes, they will make fun at you. Am I telling the truth? They're carrying a transport and you're carrying book or book or book or bag. No name, so they will laugh at you. But there is a God. There is a God. And I want you to... Uh, we are going to read Psalm 37, verse 25. Hallelujah. And let us read it together. I have been young and now I'm old. Have I not seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread? Are you going to beg bread? No. Your father is rich in houses, lands, and he promised to give that to you. You have understanding more than all your teachers. Hallelujah. Children shout praise the Lord. No, if the boy did not share his lunch to feed hungry hungry children i can't just imagine children pulling on their parents pulling on their mom their mom telling them that they are hungry and they're bitter around i am hungry but god know how to send help he knows when to show up so you don't need to worry about about what you're going to eat or what you're going to wear because your heavenly father provides for you and you and all of us. Stop looking around. Stop looking around what your classmate is wearing. How oh, their hair is straight and yarn is naughty. Stop looking around. God make all of us and you are special in, you were made for a purpose, all right? So we are all equal, whether they are wearing the latest and you are not. You have Christ in the vessel, you can smile at the storm. Now in verse 6, it tells us that Jesus knew what he was going to do. In verse 6, could we have back verse 6? It says that Jesus knew what he was going to do. Because when the disciples came to him and said, there's too much. There's too much of them. And, he, and this he said to prove him, for he himself knew what he would do. So God knew it before they were even gathered there. God knew what was going to happen. He knew the crowd that was going to be there. So, no matter how big the problem is that you're facing, Jesus already knows what to do. He has the answer. He is the answer. Let's go again. He has the answer and he is the answer. He gives us chance and big and small, children and adults, partners with him in working miracles. 
So God wants to work a miracle with us tonight. So children, I want you to stand. I want you to stand. And I want you to come a little closer. Let her whisper something in your ear. Just come a little closer. Just come a little closer. The most important and greatest miracles of all of us received is to be a part of this miracle, salvation. Are you willing to do what the little boy did and give Jesus his heart? So Jesus wants your little heart. Tonight he's saying salvation has come. And he wants to speak in your little heart. Daniel, are you listening? What did I just say? This is, all, this is why you don't get a hundred. Because there's no way I am talking and you are talking. So that little part miss you. So what you miss there you cannot get it back all right so you have to learn to listen so when you listen you know when God is talking to Daniel God bless you bless the Lord Christine just as I am without one plea but that his blood was shed for me children you are standing in the altar tonight some of you have already been baptized with the gift of the holy ghost and we are believing god tonight that those of you who have not yet received the gift of the holy ghost will start to worship god for him to come into your heart amen just, just as i am Our children are here to receive what God has in store for them. I'm asking our adults to come and stand in support of our children. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.
Let's do it, let's do it. Take me. Take me, Brother Richard. Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit. I give you all. I give you all. Not just a part. Let's do it as we worship God. Come on, everybody. Let's stay focused. Take me. Tonight, Jesus. As a young man gave his lunch, we give you our heart. We give you our heart. Take me, Holy Spirit. You can make a miracle out of our lives. As we worship God together, let's give it up to him. Come on, saints, let's do it again. Oh, take me. Holy Spirit. Yeah, won't you, won't you come in to my heart? Hallelujah. Percent. Not just the power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, take me. Holy Spirit. Oh, won't you come in?
receive the Holy Ghost. Come on. Receive a touch from God. Receive another move of God in your life. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So consecrate me now, Lord. Consecrate me now to thy service, Lord. worship God everybody let's worship let's worship there's a beautiful presence of God that's in the house we have heard from God we have heard from God through songs through testimonies there is a need for renewal there's a need for a touch of God hallelujah every one of our young people are precious are special they are precious and God they're really by God's design and you know brethren if we miss this opportunity, we may miss the opportunity of a lifetime. So I wonder why we are just sitting back and observing when we can be really supporting and lending a hand. I, I really am amazed at adults who are not engaged in a, in a service like this, in an altar service like this. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hearts are, hearts are crying out for another touch, for another move of God. Help me, hear me, O Savior divine. Open the fountain and cleanse me within. Give me a heart like thine. Hallelujah. 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 We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. This is not an addendum, brethren. The music may not be playing at this time, but our hearts are worshiping. There's something, there is a move of God in the house. Uh, there is a move of God in the house. Uh, the Spirit of God is not through. The Spirit of God is working on those in the altar. Hearts are mended. Hallelujah. Somebody saying to God tonight, Lord, I'm giving you my one little lunch, my heart. It may not be much, but I'm giving it to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many know that when that young boy gave his lunch, hallelujah, to Jesus Christ, and Jesus fed it upward of 15 to 20,000 people, that boy got back more than he gave because Jesus gave him back and he was full. When you give to Jesus, he gives you back good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Tonight, as you give yourself to the Lord, he's giving 
back to you. He's going to give you the Holy Ghost. He's going to give you anointing. He's going to give you assurance. He's going to give you the freedom from sin. He's going to cut loose all the ties that bind every heaviness, every spirit of heaviness, doubts and fears. He's going to remove them and baptize you with a spirit of worship, with a spirit of joy, with a spirit of confidence. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, we need you tonight. We need you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My soul says yes. Says yes. Says yes. My soul says yes. Says yes to, to your, your will. My soul says yes. Says yes. Says yes. My soul says yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Set your soul on fire. 
celebration and the preacher said let's let's sing that to me let's set this on fire let's set holy ghost come down for a tire well you got to move holy you got to move ghost. sing it again we're gonna sing it again but i just want you to understand that god is not holding back god is working in this house and if you give your praise to him something will always happen praise the lord jesus he's baptized one person with the gift of the holy ghost already although you you, you just worship as if he's not working but god is working he's doing something i got the holy ghost down in my soul just like the bible says hallelujah Hallelujah. He goes down in my soul. Just like the Bible said, I got the Holy Ghost down in my soul. Just like the Bible said, I'm in through the water and I'll be baptized. My soul is happy now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Nothing for my church. Just like the Bible. Just like the Bible. Just like the Bible said. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just like the Bible, just 
that's not the Bible. That's not the Bible says. I've got the Holy Ghost down in my soul. That's not the Bible says. I've got the Holy Ghost down in my soul. Hallelujah. That's not the Bible says. I've been to the waters and I've been baptized. My soul is so happy and satisfied. I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. Just like the Bible, just like the Bible, just like the Bible says, I got the Holy Ghost down in my soul. Just like the Bible says, I got the Holy Ghost down in my soul. Just like the Bible says, I've been through the waters, I've been baptized, my soul is not happy and I'm satisfied. I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. Just like the Bible, just like the Bible, just like the Bible says, I've got the Holy Ghost down in my soul. Just like the Bible says, I've got the Holy Ghost down in my soul. Just like the Bible says, I've been through the water and I've been baptized. My soul so happy and I'm satisfied. I won't take nothing from my journey now. Just like the Bible, just like the Bible, just like the Bible says. Holy Ghost down in my soul. Just like the Bible says. Got the Holy Ghost down in my soul. Just like the Bible says. I creep through the water and I be baptized. My soul is happy and I'm satisfied. I won't take that for my journey now. Just like the Bible, just like the Bible, just like the Bible says. The Holy Ghost down in my soul, just like the Bible says. I got the Holy Ghost down in my soul, just like the Bible says. I've been through the waters, I've been baptized, so so happy and I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. Just like the Bible, 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 just like the Bible. The Holy Ghost power is moving just like a magnet. The Holy Ghost power is moving just like a magnet. The Holy Ghost power is moving just like a magnet. Moving there, moving there, just like a day of Pentecost. The Holy Ghost power is moving just like a magnet. The Holy Ghost power is right anyhow. It's right anyhow. It's right anyhow. The Holy Ghost power is right anyhow. Amen. Amen. Oh, the Holy Ghost power is right anyhow. Right anyhow. Right anyhow. The Holy Ghost power is right anyhow. Amen. Amen. Keep the preacher does the preaching it right anyhow. Right anyhow. Hallelujah. Why don't we all lift our hands together and just thank the Lord for the blessings that He sent our way tonight? Why don't we give it up all to Jesus? Come on, let's give Him thanks for meeting with us, for blessing us, for ministering to us through our children. Hallelujah, our junior churchites. They have done such a marvelous job. We want to thank them for their 
contribution tonight for loving God, for giving it up to him. When they worship God, things happen in the house. They are as much leaders as the adults. And we want to thank God for them and support them in every possible way that we can. Because a little child shall lead them. So we want to thank God for his goodness and his mercies tonight. We want to thank God for the contribution of every child of God, every visitor, every friend who's been with us tonight. It is an awesome challenge and a responsibility as we watch people being transformed from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. From where the enemy seems to have us in his grasp, to the point where the Lord covers not just under his blood but hold us in his arms we want to thank him for all the adults who have prepared, organized made their contributions get our young people together ready for this crusade we want to thank God for all of you the praise team members band members ushers and greeters all participants multimedia crew everyone I believe that God is well pleased although we could do so much more than we have done but God knows what's best for us it's not over but we're coming back tomorrow night on Friday night and then the art symposium on Saturday and then on Sunday for the grand finale, the crescendo. So we're looking forward for a feast in the Lord, strengthening of our young people. And I am challenged by the day in which we are living in. Because the truth is, we have experienced it firsthand in our church, in our communities. We don't have to go to Texas to understand what is happening. Because you can just be driving out of your home and you're attacked. You can just be in the workplace and you're attacked. You can be in school, send your children to school and expect them to come back home. And you have to go identify a body. We want to ask God to cover everyone in the house. We want to ask God to make sure that we are sheltered safe within the arms of God. So then let the storms rage high and the dark clouds rise. They won't bother us because we are sheltered. We are covered. And so we thank you for your contribution. We want to thank God. And we know there are others who are in the altar that are praying and we're believing God with them. And we know that tomorrow is going to be better than today should the Lord tarries. Make sure you are covered by the blood and you give your best to the Lord tonight. Why don't you lift your hands if you're in the house still with us and let us really just give God praise. Just one more time. Let's give God some praise. Let's give God some praise. Let's give God some worship. Don't be, don't, 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 be, don't, be, don't be really short of doing what God wants you to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be weary of well-doing. Hallelujah. Worship is what it's all about. They never can stand when you worship. They never can stand when we praise. They never want us to keep quiet. Hallelujah. And be silent. But we refuse to be silent. We refuse to keep quiet in our corner. Hallelujah. Thank you for coverage tonight, Lord. So, Father, as we stand in this altar, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for what has been accomplished. We thank you for the good nugget of young Francine Greenwood formed the basis of so much of what we do tonight. Just goes to show, Lord, that you can use any one of us if we give ourselves to you and if we are taught properly help us to value every soul value every soul none 
is less important than the other. I pray tonight that you allow each of us to feel special by your design. In our, your own way. We may not be having much similarities as people are always looking for similarities. But by God's design, we are special. Unique and special. Help every child of God, particularly our youngsters, to feel extra special tonight, knowing that you love them beyond measure. Thank you for the trainers, the teachers, the moderators, those who have facilitated the worship through songs, testimonies, hallelujah, the playing of the instruments. We want you to bless all those who even look through the window because your presence is here with us. And we thank you for every participant tonight. Cover us on our way home. Cover us tonight. And should the trumpet sound, help us to be ready tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, we want to thank you for every child of God in the name that is above every name. We say thanks. Amen. Amen. And we say our mission statement together as we love God and give him thanks. Soaring in his design. We have a godly commitment to render our services in the pursuit of achievable goals under the divine leadership of our great God jesus christ that's our mission statement as we give god thanks thank you so much for sharing with us please never forget to smile with somebody it's not dependent on how you feel your smile is special by god's design so we see you tomorrow at 6 30. god bless you god bless you thank god for the soul that has been baptized with the gift of the holy ghost